Hi, and thank you for watching this marketactionresearch.com tutorial on how to create a MailChimp campaign using video as well as other content. So we're going to dive right into this. Uh, using a test account, uh, we have created a uh, marketactionresearch.com account that you can come in here to. And then uh, what you want to do is hop over to where it says create. And uh, for this particular one, uh, we're going to be creating an email. So we're going to click on email and we're going to give this a name. So let's call this uh, video test one. And then we're going to go ahead and click begin. And after this loads here, we're going to want to uh, see that there's a couple settings that are here and a few over here. The first is uh, editing the name. So this is just for your internal purposes. Uh, if you wish to give this a different name, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, so if you wanted to edit this to video test one dash Mars or uh, the name of your company, you could do that. And the next thing we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and add some recipients to this list. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do is choose which of the lists that we want it to go to. Uh, for this one, we're just going to use the Mars list. And you'll also see here that if in one of the previous videos that we've created, making a MailChimp customer segment. Uh, you could also choose different pre-built segments that are here or ones that we have created. Uh, for this purpose, we're not gonna go into that, but if you do wish to learn more about MailChimp segments, make sure to check out our other video. So you might want to add information into the fields. And the field is where in the email it shows the actual subject line um, and to make this a little bit more personalized to make sure it lands in their inbox uh, you could go ahead and click on the personalize to field and then click on the first name or f name tag um, what this is going to do is pull in the uh, and make sure to hit save what this is going to do is pull in the first names that are in the list that you have created so in this list that we have there's 44 different recipients that are in it and we're going to bring in their first name so um, it's not going to do that automatically, but we'll show you how you can do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this um, by hitting Control C or uh, right clicking and copy. And then we're going to go to the next part here and we'll show you how this is all looped in together. Um, from, we're going to say that it is from Market Action Research and the email is uh, coming from our info account. So we'll go ahead and hit save and the next thing we're going to want to do is add a subject so this is where that personalized field comes into play uh, you could have used the first name last name uh, there is a variety of things that you could be using for this but in this particular case we're just going to use their first name so that's what the f name is and uh, we're just going to make up a subject line here and say you know hey um, and then paste or you could also right click and uh, paste that here but you'll see that um, for Windows computers control V is what uh, can paste and so we're gonna go ahead and say hey F name um, uh, you won't want to miss this email um, and then the preview text that's in here is just some text that gives your recipient of the message some information before they are able to uh, open the email. So this is the text that they would see in the preview of your your message and um, it has a character limit of 150 characters. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and make something up for this part and say check out this totally rad email. It's awesome. So after that, you'll want to make sure that you go ahead and hit save. So now that we have the two from and subject, uh, the last part that we have here before we're ready to send or schedule it for a later time uh, is to design this email. So in the newer MailChimp uh, platform, you'll notice the layout of this is a little bit different but the fields that it's asking for are somewhat the same. It's just things are kind of moved around here and there. Um, but this one uh, definitely has a more intuitive look and feel than some of the previous versions. So there's definitely been some 
uh, improvements to this. So we're going to go ahead and hit the uh, design email and we could choose from one of the layouts that are already here um, and some of the other uh, videos that we've created we've gone through and talked about the save templates and creating templates uh, we're not going to go into that this time but we're just going to use one of the uh, pre-filled in emails that are listed here so just to keep things relatively simple uh, really really simple we don't want to have any other information that's in this because we're just showing what you could do to embed uh, video content into your email uh, we're just going to choose a simple text one but you could use theoretically any of these other templates or ones that you've created to make this work um, so we're gonna go ahead and click on simple text and give it a second and then it's going to load and after it loads you'll see that you have some options that are over here on the right hand side um, there's text box text, divider, image, image group, image card, uh, image caption, um, etc. So one of the last things that you'll notice here is there's a section on here called video. So uh, to add this to the body you just literally drag and drop that here and what you'll notice it's going to say video URL um, and basically what this is asking for is for you to provide a um, a video link that is going to uh, basically be the uh, link that goes into to place here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop on over and grab a video from YouTube. So we're going to go ahead and go to youtube.com. And uh, for this demonstration, we're going to use something from our company, Market Action Research. So. Uh, but this could literally be uh, any video that is listed in here. Um, we're just going to choose this video that's here. And so the URL is a link. So you want to copy this. Uh, if you're on PC, Control C. Um, or you could also right click and hit copy. And then um, we're going to minimize this window. And we're going to paste this inside the video URL tab that's over here. So what you'll notice is automatically uh, it's going to place your video on this email, but you'll notice that it looks a little funny. Uh, we're going to fix that here in just a second. But uh, one of the things that it does is it automatically grabs one of the YouTube generated thumbnails. And from that, you'll notice you get these kind of like weird uh, letters. This is from the pre generated thumbnail. Um, you can replace this. So let's just say we wanted to use a different picture. Um, in this case, uh, we would go ahead and click on replace. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And um, let's just say for this example, we're going to put this in here uh, for promo videos. So what you'll notice is that it has replaced the image of the thumbnail uh, with an image of your own. Um, one of the things that you might want to also include is a play button. And I'll show you why here in just a second but uh, this is where you can make that adjustment. And the caption that goes in underneath that could be literally anything. You can go without a caption if you wanted to, or you could say, uh, click the image above for a totally, oh, wait, totally rad video, okay? So um, that's going to give us that uh, look and feel here. So. Actually, I do want to go back though for just a second um, so that you can see uh, what would you would have to do to get that weird uh, little spacing that happens that automatically generates with the YouTube. So um, I'm going to go ahead and save and close this one. I'm just going to add another video uh, just beneath that one. And I'm going to come back here and I'm going to paste the uh, original video that we had in place here. So you'll notice that you see that there's extra spacing that's along the side here. And I'm, for this particular purpose, I'm just going to remove oh, the uh, text. All right, cool. And then um, we're going to go into the style. And you'll notice that there's 
Uh, other things that you could change here, there's a few ways that you can kind of get around this. Uh, you could move this all the way to um, the hexadecimal with six Fs. And uh, what you'll notice is that uh, when I save and close that and I click out, um, there is no more of that color that's around it, but uh, it's still kind of shifted off to the side, uh, which may or may not be what you're actually looking for. So um, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna edit it again and I'm gonna click on the settings this time. And what you'll notice is that there is a caption position where you can position it um, at the left, you can position it at the top, you can position it to the right, and you can position it to the bottom. And you'll notice that these are actually look like they're backwards, but um, what it's doing is actually placing the caption, which there is none, to the left of the video. So um, that may seem like it's a little confusing. This actually isn't moving the position of the video itself. It does, but it's actually positioning the video around the text. Um, but for this example, I'm just gonna uh, say it's positioned at the bottom. And then to fix the image alignment, you could go right or you can go center. Um, you can also click on edge to edge. So um, in this case, if you had a image that was a little bit um, maybe bigger than here, but you're getting some weird spacing, you can click on edge to edge and it will stretch the image from each edge to the other side. And uh, yeah, so pretty much this is how you embed the videos on a MailChimp campaign. Uh, I know it doesn't look super, super pretty here, but it gives you kind of a basic idea. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and enter the uh, preview mode here. So you can see what this would look like on a desktop. And what you'll notice is that it has a uh, play button overlay here, which is sort of hard to see, um, which is why it's sometimes optimal to sort of place in your own image and then maybe put in an icon over it so that people know that it's a play button or by having some text or button or uh, some type of heading so that they know to click this to watch the video. Um, because basically what's gonna happen is once they click on this, it's going to load uh, the YouTube page. Uh, currently as it is, there is not really any way to include uh, video that is playable for all types of email types within inside an email, which is why uh, that side of it doesn't work. Um, so I'm gonna actually exit this because I think it sort of broke it, but I'm gonna go back and enter the preview mode again. And so you can see that when you move from desktop to mobile, um, that options are available to watch the video. And if you were to receive this in your inbox, they would click this and it would go uh, directly to a um, uh, YouTube. So basically by clicking on this, it's going to open up, well, not this video, but it's going to open up the original video that we opened, which is this video. And so it will play it directly on YouTube from MailChimp. And uh, that is how you embed videos on a MailChimp uh, email blast. And uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that you got a lot out of it and uh, hope you have a great day. Thank you again for watching.